Hello! Due to some requests, a quick video illustrating the Space Navigator in action with Blender. Let me just turn it on the camera for a better view, since it's sitting right now on my shoulder for a better hand. Let's move this into the picture. Okay. Let's zoom in. First, let's activate into Blender. Let's zoom in. A tiny little cube. Ooh. As you can see, it's all done with the Space Navigator without touching the mouse. Very useful little piece of hardware. Furthermore, instead of pressing always the C button, which would be right here, in case you would have accidentally lost it, you can map the C button onto one of the side buttons, thereby instantly returning it back to the viewport. Very useful, I find. Alright, but let's just see what we can do. Alright, so, let's just take this, do some crazy little thing, just for the sake of illustrating a point. Um, sure, why not? Hmm, and, okay, so let's now select all of these little side notes, or side faces, if you will. Okay, and where before, would have to go here, I mapped it into the middle mouse button. Grab a hold, click, turn a little bit, turn a little bit, turn a little bit, in order like to get back to for the next section of selecting. I don't know if anybody else works the way, but that's the way I work it, at least. Now you can just grab the space navigator and just in one sweeping motion you can just go to the other side and continue your selecting. Very fast, very efficient. Also to examine your selecting purposes. Now it's much, much better and much faster than with, again, careful like strolling, looking, strolling, looking. Also, I'm sure you can hear that there's a lot of clicking sounding behind it. And with the Space Navigator, you can just zoom, look, investigate. Okay, it's perfect. Let me just correct this. Okay, and let's con continue with a simple little block. Mm -hmm. That seems about nice. Seems like I've missed one right there. But oh well. This will illustrate the Space Navigator and not well, I guess modeling. Although modeling skills is like pretty good, I'm not really interested to go into like modeling show off, but to illustrate the power of the space navigator. Actually, I wonder. There, yeah. fixed. And we have a really nice, cool looking little thing, I guess. Let's put up one more render level. The little black things you see, by the way. If you zoom in, again, all using the Space Navigator, is generated because if you click, there is a little face right inside of it that we're creating this cool looking edge. Oh, sorry about that, the, the camera sort of dropped a little bit. And again, the Space Navigator makes living and scrolling through your creation quite easy. So I recommend everybody to, well, everybody who can or wishes to use it, use it. It will be the most productive and essential tool you will ever get. Plus, your fingers will thank you later. And again, like I said, if you accidentally have completely moved it away, just press a button after mapping it. Zoom a little bit out, because I've zoomed in a bit too far, and you're all done. Also, on the other button, I've mapped 
the driver control panel if I zoom in especially for blender with here the two buttons axis controls motion controls application controls again for a simple click it vanishes oh, correct this oh. so yeah this is a small little video illustrating the power of the space navigator in action with blender Build provided by Blender Builds, as uh, sadly I was unable to fix it. So, everybody who has one, you already know that this is awesome. For those who are thinking about it, go for it. It'll be an amazing investment, especially since you don't no longer have to like click a couple of times to get to the bottom. You can just, in one sweet motion, like just go back and forth. And if you ever lose it, press a button, you are done. Well, that's all. I'm Blendmaster, hoping that this video has helped you. Goodbye.